Hi, I'm Jenny Boughton. I play flute and piccolo with the Milwaukee Symphony, and I will be performing Vivaldi's C major piccolo concerto as part of our water festival the weekend of January 27th. What I love about this concerto is the variety of colors and textures that he is able to display using really simple structures, scales and arpeggios, somehow manages to be extremely lively and bubbly if we're going with the water theme. A lot of technical precision is required, but it's very fun and idiomatic. My favorite thing about this concerto is the second movement. The second movement is only 13 measures long, and it's the heart and soul of the piece. Again, super simple harmonically, just E minor, little shift to B minor and then back to E minor. In the Baroque era, soloists would improvise their own ornaments. I won't be improvising per se, um, but I have worked out some alternate versions and just very excited to explore this little miniature of a piece. I feel like there's such a great feeling of trust and friendship in our orchestra. I, I feel extremely supported by my colleagues and there's no one else that I would rather have behind me while I'm standing at the front of the stage. I am also comforted by the fact that I get to share this concert with my dear friend, Alana Sedepin, um, who will be playing the other Vivaldi concerto on this concert. And it'll be a really wonderful experience to get to be soloists together, although not at the same time on the same program. I'm also very excited to collaborate with Nick McGeegan on the harpsichord. He's a wonderful Baroque specialist and also a flutist, which is exciting for me to have that kind of camaraderie with someone who understands my instrument. Another thing that's interesting about this concerto, we're not sure if it was written for the piccolo per se. Um, it was written for the sopranino. Uh, Vivaldi used that term sometimes to refer to uh, a small recorder. It could be interpreted as um, an instruction for the soloist to play a sort of a predecessor of the modern piccolo, something that would have been like a small side-blown flute, but much smaller, you know, relative to the, the large flute that you see in the orchestra. The piccolo is about half the size, so it's possible that he was referring to an ancestor of the modern piccolo. We're not really sure. I, I will be playing the modern piccolo, but how do I, as a modern instrumentalist, make my instrument sound both like something that Vivaldi might have wanted to hear and also like something that I want to hear and something that our audience expects to hear when they see the piccolo? It sort of feels like time travel somewhat, that we're um, able to draw those connections with musicians 400 years ago or 300 years ago and then bring it to life today. I would say I've been preparing for this for a very long time because the Vivaldi piccolo concertos and in particular this concerto um, are core repertoire for piccolo players. Every piccolo audition includes some portion of this concerto so I've, I've been working on my interpretation of this piece for a very long time but it's a very short piece it's only about nine minutes so I can't uh, I can't really do it all day long. It, it would probably drive my family even more crazy. I'm very excited to see you all at the Allen Bradley Concert Hall as part of our water festival at the end of January. We will be featuring seven MSO musicians as soloists over the three week festival and all of the repertoire is really varied and beautiful and I hope to see you there.